Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at using a dial indicator to align the level of the bed on the Wanho. So uh, ba basically, this will work on most um, 3D printers that you have. In the past, um, I built a bracket, or downloaded and modified a bracket actually off Thingiverse for, for my 2-up, but today we're going to talk about uh, the Wanho bracket. So I did download, found a, found a set of brackets on Thingiverse for the Wanho, and I downloaded them and printed them, and I want to spend a few minutes talking about it. So basically, here's one, and I hate that word basically because I way overuse it, and here is the other one. Now, this one, it got a little distorted, and I'll talk about that, that in a minute. Uh, however, if we look at this, if we see the thickness here, there are two versions. There's thick and thin version, and you can see what the difference is, is how much that it, it adheres. I, I really didn't notice a difference, but one of the things that, that ha was a problem is, is this opening versus the end opening for the gauge to go into. Um, was was way too tight, so I tried cleaning it out with a with a Dremel, and then I decided to basically take a heat gun to it. And you can see it didn't work out too good. Um, so, yeah, uh, kind of be forewarned about that. But you probably have to clean that up a little bit with regards to this. Um, so, but before I get into this, I want to talk a little bit. Let's start with dial indicators first off. So, so we have really have two forms of dial indicator here. Um, and even though one's digital, it's still referred to as a dial indicator. So we have we have the analog version right here, and then we have the digital version here. So I'll put links to these on Amazon down below in the description if you're interested in them. And you know, uh, both of them work the same. Both of them have the same same backs, etc., and, and fit in here. So again, I, I printed these out, and I was going to try both of them, and and. And I printed out the brackets actually on my DaVinci, so they would be ABS, so they'd be a little bit springy because you want that. But one of the pieces that I do want to point out that I don't like about these brackets, uh, if we look at this, the way it mounts on is basically each one of these pops in, so it slides down. Where if you notice that this one for the uh, two up works a little bit different, so it clips on here and then clips up so it keeps it from moving this way. With this one, it's possible you're going to get vertical motion on it and, and have some inaccuracy problems. So I actually might work on redesigning this one uh, to work on the Wanho because it, is, it does come up a little bit short. I don't know if you can see that uh, in there, but I may rework this one if I do put it up on Thingiverse. Um, however, uh, we'll work with the one we have now. The other piece I want to point out is this, uh, the one off Thingiverse, and I'll put the link below, also prints with a pin, and the idea is the pin goes through the center of this in the gauge and kind of holds it in place. However, I have not had good luck printing these pins, and when I do, they sort of break. So my suggestion is forget about printing the pin. Uh, I think this is a number eight, eight bolt. Just put a number eight, three quarter inch bolt through there and call it done. I think it works a lot better. So let's talk a little bit about uh, putting this on here and actually uh, setting this up. So so what we're going to do is we're going to put it on here and, and it's flashing because I believe the batteries are getting ready or, or are weak and need to be replaced. Um, however, anyways, we've got this mounted on here and we've got it pressed down and we're going to zero the gauge and so basically you see it uh, flashing all zeros there, hopefully, on the gauge. Now, as we move this forward, we're going to see something. So we're going negative, so that means the bed is going down. So you can see that we're about 0.36 down. So what I'm going to do is take this and... Uh, I'm actually bringing the bed back up. So now it's reading basically 
0 0.05, 0 0.02, 0 0.09. Now you have to watch because if you press on this bed, see it change? So you have to be very careful how you pull it. So again, I'm pulling it forward. And now that's about point, point 0.15 in the back. And if I slide it forward, I've got a little less than point 0.1, about point 0.3. And there'll probably be some irregularities in the bed. So what I want to do is I want to pull this forward again. And it's a little bit tough. Might, uh, I made these in a, in a prior video. This is made out of TPU and it's the hex holders. And so uh, I've got a hex in here. I'm going to on one of my improvement videos, uh, put thumb screws on here, but pretty much until that happens. So, if I'm in in the thousandths of an inch versus hundredths, I'm actually okay. I'm okay with it because we're we're basically talking like a 0 0.2 layer height on average. So if I'm close in there, which this is, I, I, I'm pretty good with that. Now, one of the other problems with this is I'm going to have to change my point of index when I take this off to go to the other side, which is sort of bad about this whole design. So I, I know I've got it zeroed out. Um, and actually, it's not too bad. Yeah, because I'm reading about, you know, you see when I press it down, I'm getting a couple different readings. So I'm about seven thousandths of an inch off. Now let's slide this forward. And I'm about 0 0.32. So I'm kind of way off here. So let's go ahead and uh, be careful and readjust this. So... I got to bring this back up. And, and you notice I kind of had to leave tension up because me just pressing down with, with the nut driver is going to affect this. And so, I think I get a new battery. That blinking is driving me nuts. You know, actually, the sad part about it is if you uh, watch, you can get these on sale for about the cost of a battery which is a sad part. So I'm now at, if I let go, about 0.1. So I'm, I'm right at about zero, so I should be indexed roughly to where I was on the other side. And if I pull back, I'm roughly 0 0.1, 0 0.2, so, so that's not too bad. Now, for the machinists out there, you're, you're probably cringing, and I agree with you. However, for, um, uh, horseshoes, hand grenades, and drive-in movies. This is likely close enough um, because I'm usually, so long as I'm within a couple thousandths of an inch versus hundredths of an inch, uh, I, I'm okay with it uh, because the bed is, is not within even those tolerances. I can't even guess what tolerance the bed, bed is in, but probably only in the hundredths anyway. Um, I would also want to do it uh, maybe from, you know, if I wanted to get particular, I'd move this head over and then do it from the middle also. I'm not going to do it on the video, but you kind of get the idea. Because also, in addition, if I were to mount it on this head, I'd also kind of want to do it, uh, run it diagonally each way to test for my square. So, because when you change one of these, you're going to affect the other side and, and, and conversely. So, I've done a video... Uh, for the two up on doing this, how you cross back and forth, and I'll see if I can't find that link it down below. It's in one of my earlier videos. Um, however, you know, again, it depends on how how specific you want to get. If, if you're really trying for a high quality part, I would really suggest doing that because the uh, the better you get, the better line, the better everything's going to come out. Of course, and, you know, and the question is just, you know, if you're printing a koozie, well. You know, you don't have to be that close. However, if you're going to 
you know, produce sort of a precision part for movement, then that's going to be a different story. So, you know, it's kind of up to you, but you can do one half dozen the other. Also, the use of, of an analog gauge versus a digital, digital gauge, you don't have to worry about the battery. Um, so, and then one of the things, this knob up here, you can change your zero, so that's how you zero it out, hopefully you can see. And then you just tighten this knob back down. Um, this one, they, they fell off, but there's usually chevrons on here too that you can set a range and, and measure it. So, way back in the day, before the digital ones, and that just shows how old I am, you know, I worked quite a bit with this, with these, with digital gauges, digital calibers, but I, I have to admit, I've become lazy with all the digital stuff. So, primarily, this is my go-to because I don't then have to think um, about things as much. And I can also do it in, in, in metric versus English, and that's sort of what I like a little bit better because this is... This is in English or Imperials with uh, uh, inches, so again, I kind of like the millimeters better. Base 10 stuff versus 8 uh, just sits better with me. So, anyways, uh, you know, hopefully this kind of helped show how you can do this. Again, I'll put the links to the Thingiverse builds on this out there. I am probably going to work on a version of my own of this uh, because I actually really like this uh, that I did for the 2-Up. It's actually a modified version that someone did, um, that I modified, that I remixed. So uh, I have the uh, CAD files for it. So I, pretty much all I really need to do is, if you see, is measure this one. So I think I'm just going to measure this one and subtract that amount from the the bottom, and then have that, you know, be be my uh, uh, new piece but we'll see how that goes and i'll probably do another video on on how that works so anyways if this helped you out if you found this interesting how you use dial indicate dial indicator to level your bed give it a thumbs up uh out on thingiverse and i'll see about putting the link is another one that mounts to the side of the motor however it's a little funky and you have to also remove the back and i didn't like that part of it however what happens is you remove the back and then it mounts to the side of the motor here. So you can basically drive the bed around, and you can also drive the x-axis around and do a lot better measurement. And then you just pop it off. Uh, for grins and giggles, I'm, I'm thinking about printing that out. I'm also thinking about maybe using uh, TPU to print it out also, so it's a little bit more flexible. I don't know how that'll work, but I'll, I'll try a couple and I'll do a video. So if you're interested in seeing more of this, just let me know in the comments if you have some questions about this. Uh, just hit me up in the comments below. Happy to answer them. If not, hey, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.